Alright everybody, we're back. Went to O'Reilly's, got the parts. Got uh, four feet of uh, new hose here. So got our connections on and the clamps on. I went ahead and sprayed some silicone on here to help it slip on better and seal better. Got my other little piece made here and the uh, clean out. Freeze plug. No, it's not freeze plug. It's a little drain so you can flush the system with this. I don't know if it works, but it was the way I got was on the truck when I got it. So we're going to run with it. Anyways, we'll go ahead and snap these on, I hope. See how this works. Everything ended up being 20 under, right under $20. So, snap it. Ooh, look at that clip. Nice. Nice little clip there. Nice and tight. Okay. I'll be quiet when I plug this in so you can hear the clip. Went ahead and offset the clamps here so they're not both smashed together. All right, listen close. Get straight here. Wow, that is too cool. Yeah, very nice. There they are, all shiny and new. Now we will hook up everything else here. Get the start truck and get it running. Get the, uh, get the cool and warm where it needs to be. And then uh, go from there, top off whatever we need to. So, but overall, it went, um, went together more simply than I was expecting. Really, really happy with that. Let me grab a couple clamps as I work on the bottom here. Alright, I've got clamps here. What we're going to try to do. I try to lose as least amount of fluid as possible. There's the bypass down there if you can see it. We're going to try to take that one off, put this one on with a clamp as fast as we can so we don't lose that much. We're going to see how this goes. And the, uh, let's put the camera down like this. So we're just going to play with this and see what, uh, what all we can see. I don't want to tear up a camera, but it might make it kind of interesting. All right. Got my extensions in the pocket. We got you guys a record still. Let's figure out where to go here. It was really nice when this happened to look at it, you know, kind of be able to think through the issue and be able to say, okay, well, the best solution would be to um, just bypass that and then I could keep working without having to bring the truck home. That was. Uh, that was a real big help, and it helped the day go faster for sure. So, not that I could have used the Suburban, but still made it easier just to be able to drive it with this. So, mainly with all this rambling, if you, uh, you know, check your connections, keep an eye on that. And if you have any, um, any issues with it, uh, it's probably not going to be your heater core right off at first. So, but it could be, uh, it could, it would definitely be this. Talk to the Larry at the store there, and this is definitely the common issue. Okay, I don't know how well you'll be able to see that. We're gonna see how well we can run this transfer. Hold on. There we go. Curious if I can get this video. All right, taking this one off. Uh oh, oh. Not as good as I want, but it's close. Yeah, it wasn't close at all. That was terrible. We didn't lose a clamp from the other side, so we're good. Nice and tight on there. It's kind of shady in here. There we go. Push it a little farther. It's got like a little bead there in the water pump where you can put it on a little tighter. I should have put the uh, this hose on the other side here. The hose clamp. Hopefully this will... Well, that should work out fine. Yeah, that should work out fine. Okay. We'll find the ratchet. And we'll tighten that up. Good. Okay. Here's some break. Oh, that was. Alright. Now we'll tighten this down. Alright. Those feel pretty good. 
They look good. Nice and now hopefully you can see some of that. I don't know. Oh, there's my hand. Okay. There you go. You might have seen some of that. All right. So that one's that one's good. We can put it into that plastic can clamp right there. Go ahead and spin it. Hold on. There we go. Set this clamp down for our little tea here. Now that it's nice and warm, we can use the, be able to use the heat. <laughs> Mainly I just want to make sure it was fixed correctly, so we've got that part done. Fixed correctly. My dad mentioned doing the uh, this other other side over here just to make sure you know it's all original so it can't hurt. Just go ahead and get it done. So went ahead and did that, came off easy enough, so worked out. Look that pretty good. So, looks like the hose is kind of go. Oh, there we go. That looks pretty good. So we got that. Let's give everything a little extra crank here. Make sure it's all it's snug as it can be so we don't break anything. Check these up here. That one I made a little bit snug. Let's see. There we go. There we go. That's a little better. Let it sit off to the side there. Yeah. All right. Start off with the cap off on the uh, coolant. Gonna move the camera angle a little bit here so we don't cook anything. Just gotta go get my keys, I guess. There you go. Check the oil real quick before I start. I think the rear main seal needs to be uh, changed in this. I'm running 1030 and seems to be using some oil. It works pretty hard for an old truck though. Alright, let's see some that AMS oil transmission fluid is looking nice too. Alright. Start off with the cap that gravity feed everything. So far, it seems to look pretty good. It seems to be running well. We will drive it on Monday for work and see what it does. But that's an easy way to uh, fix the potential heater core issue. More than likely, it's not the heater core. It's just a plastic connection. A real easy fix. It took me under an hour. Thanks for uh, watching the combustion guide. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to like the video, and if you're not subscribed, go ahead and think about hitting that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.